another day, another fucked up article. Let me start this video off by saying this. I don't believe the information from this article at all whatsoever. I think that some people just have too much time in their hands and people just got their facts wrong, basically. People put out some incorrect information and you know what happens sometimes. So SandraRose.com posted an article titled Busted, T.I. Caught Creeping with Known Escort. Now, the lovely lady on your screen is in question here, which is Anna Montana with her dime malicious self. So let me go ahead and read to you what Sandra Rose wrote. Remember when blogger thejasminebrand.com broke the news about rap mogul T.I. and his wife Tamika Tiny Harris splitting up? Well, it appears there was some truth to that rumor. It seems that T.I. is soliciting the sources of a well-known escort, read prostitute. Now, for the record. I'm not calling her that. I'm just saying that this is what was written in the article. An anonymous hotel employee in Atlanta reached out to SandraRose.com with a very detailed and juicy email describing, quote, an altercation that went down in the hotel where he works. I won't go into any more details on the altercation because the information can be traced back to the employee who begged for anonymity because he fears losing his job. But I will say that the hotel employee has receipts that show T.I. was a registered guest under his government name and that a female's name was added to T.I.'s room as someone who had 24-7 access to his room. In other words, he said this female was not registered to the room. Her name was simply added as a courtesy as someone who could come and go to the room with no questions asked. The female was not Tamika. The female's name is Analicia Chavez, a.k.a. Anna Montana. She is a former member of Miami's infamous prostitution ring, Taz's Angels. Pause once again. I'm not saying that. The article says that. Apparently, she is known to travel overseas to offer her prostitution services to foreign ballers. Chavez was one of the video models in T.I.'s dope music video, and they run in the same circles. Interestingly, the altercation in the hotel went down about a week prior to T.I. and Tamika going on vacation together with their children. After reading the rather long email, I reached out to a friend, another blogger, who follows Annalisa's Snapchat. Thanks to the blogger's detective skills, we know that Annalisa is currently in New York. Here's the sad part. T.I. is also in New York, where he was a guest on The View this morning. The blogger told me that Anna's last Snapchat activity was at 8.27 p.m. last night, and after that, she went off the grid. The blogger told me she saw a New York cab in one of Annalisa's Snapchat streams from last night. My friend said Anna tried to play it off like she's in New York with the brother of hip-hop moguls Akon and Boothiam, I hope I pronounced his name correctly, a young baller who goes by the username Bass For Real on Instagram. But after checking his Snapchat, it appears Bass For Real wasn't with Anna last night. It saddens me to report all of this because T.I. has been a good friend of the blog. My readers have benefited from his generosity and goodwill over the years, but T.I. pretends to be a loving husband and father while soliciting the services of a known escort. Both T.I. and Tamika are friends of my blog. I don't want to drag him, but based on the email that I received, <laughs> I think it's only right to put this out there so she will know. For your information, I reached out to my source within the camp to discuss the contents of the email, but no one returned my calls. That's the end of the article. Let me tell y'all something. Whoever this messy ass hotel worker is, no wonder you want to remain anonymous. No wonder. I just don't believe it at all whatsoever. I don't believe the story even a tiny bit. It's like, come on, people. They want to break up this happy home. And even if T.I. has something on the side, I'm willing to bet good shmoney that Tiny approved of it and gave him a pass. Come on now, people. You really think that T.I. would try to play Tiny? Never. He loves her. That's his wife. And she has a fat ass. T.I. wouldn't cheat on that. But anyways, this is all my opinion. What's yours? Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. 
Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine. And listen, guys, no man has ever cheated on his wife in history. This is all impossible. Meat Magazine.